lose yourself but you you find your way I'm gonna watch you Ray D.A. Ray D.A. Ray D.A. Oh, oh, Ray D.A. Well, I have to say, waking up at 4.45 in the morning to show up for a morning show is about as unlaid back as it gets. I mean, this is... It's a test. This is working pretty hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be up early. But is it is it hard to keep that, you know, that that sort of mellow lifestyle? And I know your family's really important to you. Alongside a hard, you know, it's a, hard, it's a business you're in. It's a commercial business. Yeah. You know, I've been lucky. I'm, I'm in this little bubble. My wife and my best friend are my managers. I was... We were actually editing a surf film called September Sessions. And... I got this phone call. It was the first call I got. Somebody had heard this little four-track tape I'd made, and it was a producer in Hollywood, and they asked if I could come in for a meeting. And right as I was about to hang up, they said, do you want me to contact your manager, or will you let them know? And for some reason, I lied. I didn't have a manager. I was just a filmmaker at that point, barely making it. And I, I said, oh, I'll, I'll tell my manager. And then I hung up, and I said, I can't believe I just lied to that person. And I, so I told my friend there, I said, come with me to the meeting. Pretend like you're my manager, because I said I had one. And so he showed up, and we were kicking each other under the table and stuff. And, <laughs> and then he went home, and he got a book on how to be a music manager. And he's still my manager today. Well, these rocks, they hold heat. Pools of water cool your feet. As you walk, you believe every part of the dream. You're on tour at the moment. You've got three children who come on tours with you. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's pretty wild. They don't, they don't do too good with time zones, you know, like. You can't really explain when you fly straight from Hawaii to Germany and then they pop up at 1 o'clock in the morning and say, all right, let's, let's go. Party. Say, no, 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 you've got to lay back down. And the three-year-old's just like, no, I'm ready to... Will you continue wrong. doing that, do you think? Is that important to you that they are with you? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, a, really, it's a luxury to get to bring them. You know, I feel lucky. Yeah. I know a lot, I have a lot of friends that they don't get to travel with the family and a lot of the people on our crew come out and have to leave the family. I'm really lucky to bring them. But for me, it's uh, part of the decision to tour is really sightseeing with the family and getting to, to bring them along for the education. So, uh, Jack, I say ukulele, you say... Ukulele. <laughs> Which is the proper way of saying it, presumably, is it? Proper way, uh, ukulele, it's um, when the portrait... Say it again. Ukulele. Ukulele. The only thing that's different is just the U, U instead of a U. It's, it's ukulele. It's, it means uh, little jumping flea or bug. It's, uku is like a little bug in Hawaiian language, and lele is to jump or dance. So it's the sound of like a dancing flea. And when the Portuguese brought the guitars and the ukuleles to Hawaii, that was the name they gave it. As you walk, you believe every part of the dream. 